one of the things I've always liked studying in my life is the medical literature on the near-death experience. And what happens when people have a near-death experience is they see the white light and then they see whoever is there. I'm, those are the people who would get across the portal without me having to call somebody, by the way. Uh, so they know that there's no death they know it's their time to come back. And this is the part that really interests me. They tend to take care of themselves. They eat better. They exercise. They don't have time for the pain. They're no longer afraid of death, but they begin to realize how precious life is. And they live that way. So I was thinking for a while, if we could do a pseudo near-death experience experiment, right? But you can't. I mean, you just you, you can't because you'd lose some, you know. <laughs> and I think I think the karma would not be good. Uh, but here's another interesting thing: they often become very psychic because their right temporal lobe of their brain gets rewired, and also 25% of them can never wear a watch again. They stop the watch on their arm. Um, just as a fun little experience. Oh, and also, of course, now, with their email, they crash computers all the time. So, you know, show of hands, I'll bet we've got some of those people in the audience. I always, when I'm um, consulting an intuitive or a psychic, I always ask, do you screw up computers? Can you wear a watch? Because if they say they screw up computers and they can't wear a watch, I know I'm dealing with someone with a wide-open temporal lobe, and they tend to be very good at what they do.